keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about a 99 pass accuracy build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So again, left or right handed doesn't really matter. You know, I'm this left handed IRL, I love left handed builds. Um, when it comes to the height, we are gonna go 6'6 with this. Uh, keep the weight whatever way you want it to fall it doesn't matter um, but the wingspan go to 610 so you basically are going to be don't max it all the way out you want to go 610 so we can get the 89 three ball but other than that this is going to be pretty standard height for most 66 guards um, now for the actual physicals we are going to go 86 on the speed we're going 86 on the speed because we want to make sure we can get that speed booster on gold same thing here 83 acceleration so we can get the blow bias on gold Okay, so very important to be able to have these. Now for the strength, we're gonna go 63. Um, you go 60 to get your fearless finisher on silver, but then 63, excuse me, will give you physical handles on silver. So physical handles is really good. It's just a matter of, you know, getting like, so, like basically it's like a, a version of like clamp breaker. You know what I'm saying? So physical handles, again, loses the chance of being bothered by defenders on the perimeter while drip, right? So it's a really good combination to go along with speed booster and acceleration, right? Now for your vert, we're gonna go 58 on the vert. That's just to get the aerial wizard on bronze. And of course, we're gonna go 98 on the stamina. Um, again, because you know, you're a PG, you wanna have the highest stamina as you possibly can. Now, um, when it comes to the finishing, I went 80 on the driving layup. The 80 driving layup, basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you your pro touch on Hall of Fame. And we talked about how good layup time it is. Now, some people might wanna get go a little bit higher on their layup. They won't, you know, cause I know like right now, um, a lot of people are really high on Devin Booker. Uh, Devin Booker layup style, I think it requires like an 83, if I'm not mistaken, um, an 85, I'm sorry. So it's an 85 um, layup. So if you wanna to try to go 85 to get it, you can, but at the end of the day, 80 is still gonna be strong enough because you still will be able to get like uh, LaMelo Ball layup package. You're still able to get Jimmy Butler, which I really like Jimmy Butler. Um, and um, of course, Russell Westbrook is another good one too. So, I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing right or wrong there. It's just know that layup timing is really important to have on along with your pro touch, okay? Um, now we're gonna skip everything else here, right? We're just gonna be straight layup build here. And again, we're gonna go straight layup build because when you have something at 99, it doesn't, you gotta make sure you're just using the attributes that matter, okay? <laughs> like, just keep it in the stack. Use the attributes that matter, all right? Now, we're going 89 with the three ball. So I wanted to make sure I got 89 because I wanted to get, excuse me, um, green machine on gold, right? So I was able to get the green machine on gold, so that was important. But for the most part, you're gonna be able to get every single jump shot base you want. Again, since you are 6'6", you're not looking at like um, Patty Mills or um, Steph Curry, you'll be looking at more like, you know, um, obviously Tracy McGrady, you know what I'm saying, Cal Corver, those type of um, bases, which again, really strong bases all around. We are gonna go 76, um, just to, to have a 76 mid range, we went up there, but for the most part, everything is gonna be that you already have. So we're gonna just go 76, and then for our free throw, we're gonna go 99 on the free throw to get Hall of Fame free points. I thought that would be dope to have also. Um, obviously, this is gonna be more of a rec, um, pro M type. A point guard build but at the end of the day you can still use this in park it's just that yeah you just have a high free throw so if you're not going to use this um if you're not a rec or a pro -am player just lower your free throw all the way down okay so um that's pretty much there now again just like the video stated we're going 99 on the pass accuracy just look at these hall of fame badges man so you get hall of fame bailout which you should never be able to pass out and get anything your guys or gals whoever is on your team should be able to catch every pass movie okay dimer on Hall of Fame also, and Needle Threader Hall of Fame. So people are trying to cheat in the paint in the corner, you should be dotting them every single time with no issue. It should be really, really, really OP. And then of course, Relay Passer, Special Delivery Touch Passer, Break Starter, like you should just be a really great facilitator up and up, but you're just not no, you know, just pass first. I mean, you have an 89 three ball, so just keep that in mind. It's not like you ain't gonna be able to do nothing. The ball handle, we also gonna go all the way out. 93 on the ball handle, 
That's going to give you Hall of Fame ankle braces along with gold killer combos. And again, you're going to be able to get all the elite dribble animations, but you're over 6'6". So you're not able to get, you know, the crazy, crazy ones. But at the end of the day, you're still able to get some good ones, all right? Um, speed with ball, 83. That's going to give you your blow bias, your speed booster, your hyper drive, and your triple strike all on gold. Yes, you also get Devin Booker dribble style. If you're really big on that, you'll be able to get that one out too. So again, really, really strong all the way around when it comes to the, fin the playmaking and the shooting. Finishing is really solid also. So you should be a walking bucket, literally, um, or a great facilitator, whatever you want. The pass accuracy is going to allow you to throw some of the quickest, fastest passes that you can in the game. So just keep that in mind defensively we're going 58 on the perimeter just so we can get bronze off ball pass that is going to prevent people from going back door on you or just in general you're going to be bumpy you'll get the animations defense is so strong this year so again you want to take advantage of that and at least get the badges that matter and bronze off ball pass or off ball pass in general is a good badge to have it allows you to be really sticky and really bumpy then on your steal we're going to go 60 on the steal just so we can get the interceptor right we want to make sure we can get into those passing lanes to be able to get the intercepting interceptions. Remember, if you have a 59, you're not going to be able to get the hands up interception animation. This is the animation badge. You got to have a 60 and you got to have at least bronze interceptor to get the animation of putting your hands up and trying to intercept passes. OK, so this is what we're looking at right now in the 99. But let's say like again, like I said, let's say, for instance, you are, you know, not a, you're a park player. All right. And you're not into rec. All right. So then you'll just go all the way down to 64. You got, a, you know, got 98 here. Um, there you go. You can put like, you know, you just have some room to try to figure some some stuff out, right? It ain't much, right? You see, there you go. You can get your standing dunk on 45 standing dunk, right? You get a little basic standing dunk animation. Um, maybe you can see well, how much on defense can you get here? You can't get much on defense. Um, maybe you can get more uh, defensive rebound. Nope, can't do that. But offensive rebound, pretty sure you could get something there. So even if you drop it all the way down to 64, it doesn't really change much. Um, may, may, oh, honestly. Going 85 will give you John Morant dribble style too. So you might want to do that. And I think it will also give you, if I'm not mistaken, isn't Allen Iverson also um, dribble style requires that too? Let me check and see. Cause I think you can also be able to get Allen Iverson here. So you can get, no, no, we gotta be 6'4 or shorter. So you're not able to get that either. So the only animations you will be able to get with the 85 is John Morant, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you want John Morant dribble style, you'll be able to do that right there. Um, but if not, then just go ahead. It's crazy how you can get that 99 um, on free throw. Again, it's not, of course, it's not gonna be weighed as much, right? But anyway, so there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the 99 pass accuracy and by default free throw to um, point guard build. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. What would you change differently? But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon on the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.